Hey guys, and welcome to Wayward. Wayward is a top-down, turn-based wilderness survival roguelike where you must learn to survive, thrive, and eventually escape the island. We have awoken to find ourselves no longer in the company of good men or a fine seafaring vessel. So, you are here because you want to learn how to survive, and I will teach you that. So the first thing I always recommend doing is open up all your bars. Inventory will often be open. Skills. I want to quickly warn you about skills. Skills, you want to only increase the ones you need and the ones you're going to be using. Increasing use of skills like cartography early on can spell disaster because enemies will get harder and harder the more skills you have. So eliminating your skills can be important. Secondly, you want to look at what items you start with. The items you start with will always be randomized. So, the third thing, we want to look at what we can craft from the items we have. So, the first things I recommend is a sharp rock. Sharp rocks are very important for carving. I recommend putting sharp rock on two. We have a stone axe. We're going to put the stone axe in our right hand. Note, you always use items in your right hand first. We also um, have a skull. A skull is a really great item to start with. If you don't start with it, it's fine. You can get them later, but it gives you one armor right away. So you use your sharp stone and you turn it into a skull cap. So you can equip that. The other thing I want to show is you, when you're using sharp items, you always use the first sharp item in your inventory. So what I'd recommend is you resort your inventory by name. That will short will filter your sp sharp rock behind your stone axe because we do not want to be using the durability of our stone axe for just sharp rock tasks. So um, starting in the desert is really great and will give you a variety of great things. Firstly, um, one thing you can do is inspect items. Um, there's two things to notice. Ooh, hmm. why wouldn't it let us gather those rocks. Oh, because we're not facing them. There's collect objects and gather. Collect objects is usually fine. Gathering will get you hurt if you do not use a tool. The first thing I recommend if you start in this biome like I do is hit the wall a couple times to try to get sandstone. We actually got a lot of sandstone. Um, drop any stones you get. Shale is mostly just um, carving implements, but any s sandstone you get turn into grindstones. If you get more than one sandstone, Go ahead and make a couple and then drop a sandstone in like you have left. We ended up with a couple grindstones. Generally, I wouldn't make this many. I'd only make one, but since I had extra sandstone, there's no point not making the grindstones. So we have grindstones. Grindstones are used for repairing. You can also repair with hammers. Um, however, the hammers take a lot more items. You see, they take rocks, poles, and string, where this only is pretty much free. So a great thing to have if you start in this biome. So the other thing I is great about this biome is you can have palm trees. Palm trees can have coconuts. Coconuts with cactuses are one of the best items you can get for food. Pineapples are also quite good because they restore your water and hunger. So again, if we, I'm going to show you, if we pick up this pineapple with our hands, we're going to hurt. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put uh, kind of, well, I can't use stone. The problem with stone axes is they have gather as their second uses, so you cannot use it as a tool. Um, however, very shortly, once we find a tree or something, um, actually, we can probably get a stick from this. I've actually never chopped on these trees, and I don't want to start now because they're very valuable exactly like this. This tree has coconuts. So we're going to smack the tree with our axe and get the coconuts. So that's... Coconuts are just a great food to have early on. What we're going to want to do is over here, we have a variety of different objectives. These are our early objectives. I did not put food on here because food is generally quite plentiful, especially if you start in an area with coconuts. So we're going to want to look for shelter as our main thing. I actually don't recommend making a shelter. For the most part, if you wander around enough, you will find a shelter. Ooh, did we just find a branch? Perfect. So we can put this branch up here for now. And we can use it as our gather. Oh no, it's, it's actually stoke fire as well. But you can turn your thing into, oh no, poles. Hmm, I wonder if we have enough. I don't want to, generally don't want to make wooden spears. Wooden spears are kind of crappy. We just need 
one rope because I believe we have a sharp rock. Because you, if you look at what you want to make is two wood spears ideally. If you don't have string, the greatest thing is people who don't know about string don't know that you can use strip bark to turn the string. Strip bark is made from any sticks. Um, so we'll make a string and then we can actually make ourselves a spear. Spears aren't the great gathering tool, but they're pretty much one of the easiest ones. So we'll make this the spear. It has 17 durability. We're going to put it in our right hand because we want to use that as main weapon, but we're also going to use the axe because it has three attack as well. They both have three attack, I believe, but the... Actually, the axe seems to be quite good but at that as well, but we're going to be using the spear. So, okay, so, okay, so we just accompanied our first enemy. What you want to do is you want to press space to skip turns because you always want to attack enemies when you're at an advantage. We now have put our sharp rock. We can carve out this corpse. Oh shoot, we actually got rid of our sharp rock. However, we can still select it because this is a carving implement. Guess we can actually just put this on here for now. Because like I told you, this can be used to carve. So we took the rat and we carved several things out of it. Rats, there's actually a big trick for rats. Rats will give you tainted meat. This meat is horrible. I do not recommend eating it. However, you can turn any meat into pemmican, including your offal. So pemmican allows you to turn meat into a, a resource that never um, decays. If you look, all this meat will have a decay rate on it. As you walk, that will go down. If you turn to pemmican, it will no longer degrade. So, support thing. I'm actually gonna put our axe back on. You generally want, it's tool based. So if we used a spear on a tree, we would not have much success because we're poking a spear with a little tree. So, so we just wanna keep looking for our shelter while collecting important resources. That actually gave us plant roots. Plant roots are important that you don't turn them into cordage because they have medicinal quantities. I think we just found an uh, animal skull. For the most part, we don't think we need that animal skull actually, because I believe they're only used in making helmets. So we're gonna, well, so we can take it with us, but wits our weight gets too high, we may just drop it. So we're gonna see if this rat will move into attack range. So we missed the rat. So now it's running away. So I have to chase down the rat. Hopefully it will run into some. And there's our shelter that I was talking about. Perfect. Again, we're going to chop up the rat. And here's our shelter. So the first thing on the list has been completed. So we need to open the door, which it doesn't seem to be one. That's all there we go. And oh, oh my God, this is probably the best thing we ever. We have a furnace. I didn't even put furnace on the list here because it's so high level. But we're just awesome. And we also got a bark tunic and bark leggings, which put us way ahead. You can craft these, but they require so much bark that I don't even recommend it. So now we can actually drop a lot of our food in here. We can actually drop a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to drop those two. We have, we actually could be using the shale. I forgot the shale could be used as a sharp rock. We don't have a sharp rock, but we have shale. Other things, we're going to drop our leaf bedroll in here. Um, we'll keep our water on us just in case. Berries, tree bark, twigs. That's all stuff I want to carry. Coconuts I do not need to. Oops, shoot. The only crappy thing about dropping stuff like this. And I know the spider's approaching. We'll just keep dropping stuff. Is it'll take a long time to pick it up again. However, we're not going to need very much of it. Let's chop that guy open. And does this corpse decay? It does eventually, but let's put it there. Spider webs so light, it's not worth dropping. Some items that are really light aren't worth dropping, but these coconuts are quite heavy overall. So items we want to reduce the weight of. These bones have no use, but if we turn them into a bone pole, they have a use and we've reduced the weight from 1.2 to 1.5. So that's very important, very useful. So this animal skull, I'm just going to drop outside here. 
we'll carry this tainted meat a little bit because I'm not sure if things will eat it. Again, pineapple. Actually, when do we see eat the pineapple here? So all of our stuff went up. And the thing I was worried about is we have to carry that. Um, we'll just plant that there. To see if the pineapples will grow back. It will be golden. So for the most part, we're just going to go find some more trees. Quickly go up here to see if there's anything interesting. Not really. The thing is we want to file the short. Because I don't think we're going to lose this place. But it's easier to kind of keep track of where you are if you follow the short. And you can find really good things by following the shore. So we're going to... Do we find anything else for gathering? Guess we could actually be sorted. Or so we could just use see the see how much damage it did to stick gathering with the stick. But perfect, we found a tree. So the tree is gonna let us um start our still. If we type in still here, we need strings, rocks, and containers. Um, we can get a container from our glass bottle, but we're going to have to hunt a rabbit for the most part. But we're going to ch chop this tree, so I write down. Because it's going to have lots of stuff we need desperately. Oh shoot! I just actually poked it my stick. Sorry, I forgot to switch the order and it said this tool does not appear to be effective for gathering this resource. So I recommend just cutting the tree all the way down, because it will give you logs. We are going to need some logs, actually not and not that long here. Um, mostly because you need one in making our fire starters kit. We can actually do that right now because it will reduce our weight. Again, like I said, we're always interested in reducing weight if we can. So these weigh five. Ooh, I don't I just think we have the fire starters kit here. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing a wooden pool, which is easy. Just turn a branch into a pole. So now we have five, um, 0.5 and possibly a little bit more. So we're going to take the wood bar plow and we've turned one of our logs into something lighter and it's something we're going to need anyway. So whenever you can do that, it's really useful. So we picked up the dead bush, caused damage to ourselves. all happens. Um, tall grass, I believe, um, can be used as cordage as well. So whenever you can find tall grass, it's worth picking up. And we could actually pick it up with our stick or with our spear so we don't cause ourselves so much damage. Just gonna look at using a spear for just getting a wood spear just for um, picking up stuff. This is 10, this is 17. So we'll use that for the moment, but we can actually even equip that. I don't know, I like it having the axe. We can repair the axe. Perfect. Cactus. Cactus is important for many reasons, and I, though I didn't put it on the list, it's one of the things you have to find because needles. So you can turn a cactus leaf into um, a needle. Needles are required to do any sort of tailoring. Sorry. Use our stick. We're getting lots of roots for cordage as well. So. Only thing is, you want to watch where your roots sort to. We can actually use our tall grass. What we should do is we could actually make string of our tall grass here because I believe it'd be lighter than the grass. No, it'd actually be the same weight. But whatever. So you still have that stuff. So we have a rat again. I'm gonna wait for the rat to approach us. And then we can do it. We'll cut him open, get all his stuff. And we're actually possibly on our way to making a water skin. Make another bone pole. And so what do we all need for a water skin now? We just need to tan the leather and we'll be good. So I believe we have a mortar and pestle. We do. Mortar and pestle is very important. Once you have your mortar and pestle, you can create tannin. Okay. Tannin allows you to um, tan leather as exactly as it says. Once the leather is tanned, we can make a small bag. Bags let you carry more weight out your waist for cruising exuberance. Very important. So we could actually make a second one as well. I don't think we know how to make a backpack, do we? Two tan leather. So, actually, I want to make it. Oh. We're one sh 
short of that, but we're really not. Oh, we are close to being encumbered, so. We can make the bag. Um, do we know? Chest. Three logs. So, we really would like to have a chest at one point. So, we'll probably have to drop some of the stuff off, though, because if we carry. I guess we could get one more log. But. Anyway, so I, I'm kind of. Get a little bit too close. So water skin we can create. Because that will reduce our weight by crafting that. We can actually create this cast medicinal water. Um, herb and nutrients, thirst, poison, and other ail ailments. Um, that's from our herbs or our um, roots. All really important and useful stuff. Okay, so we have to decide if whether we want to make our bag. So our still. Where are we at? We have just need rocks and string. There's rocks over here. And we have all kinds of string. So, we're just gonna go as far away as we can. Just in case we need to drop anything. This is probably fresh water, even. It is. Okay. Here. There we go. We got a rock. Still. Two more rocks. Go. So that's what I recommend. Just keep an eye because rocks are heavy. Is the thing we're looking at. We can definitely drop all these stones. I always recommend because they are not really useful. So crafting our still. Perfect. We're there. So we just got to make our string. Oh, we should be careful that we didn't use our plant roots because we did use our plant roots. So that was my bad, but it's not the end of the world. So we're actually failing to craft it quite horribly, and now we're out of string again. So what I recommend to do is make it our strip bark, because you're turning it from sticks, then sort it. Hopefully it will go there. No. But what we can do is we can turn it to the bottom. So it's behind the strip bark, now you can make it into your string, because it will use the top two items and will not use the plant roots. So, there we go. Oh shoot! <laughs> so we keep failing, and every time you fail, um, it destroys the item. So what we can do... Oops, I actually dropped the water skin. We're going to repair our water skin. Oh, you can actually... can actually repair... Oh no, you have to left click. So you can fail to repair stuff, but there we go, it's back to, to full use. So that's why we were building our still while we were still at this wood, this rock. Because you can always fail to craft stuff. So, we need three rocks. So, we're really bashing our stone axe here into submission. So, again, just drop the stones. And we'll try to make our still again. There we go. So, now um, we it says we're working ourselves into exhaustion. If you work too much, you'll tire yourself out. So,. So what we can do, we can just walk. I want to walk back to our um, building here. Because it still is quite heavy. Actually, we kind of create a problem here. But I guess we can put our... Um, yeah, we did kind of create ourselves a problem here. Because our house isn't quite big enough. But we could probably expand it quite easily by one space so we'll have to do that with some sandstone yeah, our weight is flashing because we're quite heavy but we're gonna um set up the sand stone water still and we're good you also saw we can dismantle it um well, we'll collect it at this point but we'll be good so we can add water to that and then we can boil water in there to get um, desalinated water. We also had fresh water there we could drink, but it's a good thing to have your still set up. So campfire is very easy to make. We already have our fire making tools, which is here. You can just put it there, possibly for the moment. We have some logs. Where's, I'm even just going to place the logs here because they're so heavy. 
Um, chests, actually, is the one thing we need. Grass seeds, one thing. Um, I think we can even plant the grass here, can't we? Can you, you can eat grass seed? Does it decrease your... Yeah, eating grass seed increases your thirst. So I do not recommend that. We'll just drop it over here. Leaves. So we have lots of offal here that's about to go bad. So what we're going to want to do is we can... Hmm. We don't have a fire. Just going to drop a lot of this. So I really don't want our meat to go bad. But I guess we have a little bit more time. Yeah, we don't get that much. Do I have enough stuff to make the... I believe so. The thing is, you had to carry back five rocks to make your campfire. I think we should be okay. Let's go drop some of this heavier stuff. Amber, we're not going to be using for a while. And the rest of the stuff, I guess, kind of just have to work with. We'll drop the bedroll as well. Okay. Now we should be fine. So we need to go up to where that rock is. And again, just start pounding on it with our thing. So we have five rocks. Oh, we have, I think we have five. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. Drop the gravel. And now we can make our campfire. Our stone axe is in need of a pair, but it's not too bad. So I'm just going to drop the... Oh, wait, we have to... We have to build it. But every time you build and destroy something, it actually reduces its... Oh yeah, I can't just drop without building it. Okay, so one other thing we need to do is make one more sandstone wall. So, okay, so our axe is in very poor shape. We will now repair it. Again, that's why the grindstones are so great. Okay, so we no longer have a grindstone repair it. We actually have other grindstones in there, but I'm just gonna make one here because we don't have to start playing with that pile. So. Oh man, our tinkering skills are really going up because uh, we're continuing to, over and over again to fail <laughs> to repair this axe. You shouldn't really fail this many times. I don't think I've ever seen this amount of failure. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. In all my time, I've never... Oh yeah, we just destroyed our axe accidentally. because I was using it to break the wall. Which kind of sucks now. We don't have an ax, we don't have a normal. Hmm. Okay. So. We have the pole, we just need the string. And we can make a new ax. Not huge harm done. Again, we don't want to use our medicinal roots. I don't really want to turn my awful. Oh, the awful's like right to the gay, so guess I will use it. Man, this is brutal. I just had horrible luck here. Okay. Guess we'll set up the fire pit. I think it's about to decay, but. Don't even know if we have the stuff to craft, really. Because you need kind this tree bark. We don't have any tree bark. Yeah, so I really royally screwed this up, but we're not really hurting that much on food anyway. Time that we need the pemmican. So, Matt, I've never seen a fail to pick, fail to repair something that many times though. Like, that's royally crazy. Oh, drop that. So I guess the, this tinder's gonna go down. 
Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. I could have turned that into that. The meat's just going to decay and be useless. But. Oh, that's fine then. And we can make the axe. Okay. So back to where it was. We wanted to expand our house a little bit. Yeah, potato meat has decayed. So it's really not worth anything because if you look, we can no longer make pemmican from it. So. Okay, so that's sandstone flooring. You need koi by sandstone to make anything. There you go. See, it wasn't that hard really to do what we're trying to do. Okay, so we need to. All we need to do now is. Oh, okay, we guess we need two. We end up needing two walls. Oh, wait, we're exhausted now because we have too much weight. Because we're carrying two sandstone walls. But. Oops. Face it. Build it. And we actually need one more. Yeah, we destroyed the pile by trying to pick it up, but collect item, place, so one more wall. So it's actually not too bad. We're just so far ahead of the game already, it's uh, ridiculous. Oh wait, we're exhausted again. So if you're really exhausted, you can just hold spacebar and you'll get a lot of your stuff back. We actually are quite thirsty as well. So why don't we just drink our water? So flooring. If we're really going for it, we could even make flooring. See, we can make a kill now, which is really advanced. Okay, we're going to be taking damage from having too much stuff on ourselves. Create the wall and then we should be able to just drop this extra and be within the limit. So we're going <laughs> to, you really have to kind of mess with the system. Oops. Face down, build wall. Perfect. So now our shelter is complete. We can go and grab this. all around me like i said we're not really hurting that much for food that we don't need to make and pemmican is kind of a can be kind of a pain to make anyway so but yeah extremely solid so we have our campfire okay so campfire still we have our fire making tool oh it's just here on the ground we have Tinder, which actually we don't technically have, but um, actually, do we have bark somewhere? Coconut, 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 dead spider bark. We don't, but you really just have to go chop a tree, you'll have bark. So we have everything we need to survive. And the water skin listed here is just to remind you guys that you're going to need a second water skin other than the one we had. Um, because we have, or other than the glass, you always start with something with water in it, so. But yeah, Tinder. Oh, we can even make Tinder, yeah, so. Oh, kindling is the one I'm thinking of, so. You need kindling to start fires. I wrote Tinder there, but it should say kindling. Um, it's, you need tin. I think you need Tinder and kindling. But anyway, guys. Thanks for coming out for this basic tutorial on how to survive in Wayward, and I'm back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys. Later. I hope you guys enjoyed my beginner's guide to Wayward. If you want to see more Wayward, feel free to check out my intermediate guide as well. And if you want to see more of me in general, check out the run video. Thanks guys.